This example illustrates calculations for springs and spring constant and the length of stretch of a spring when it's subject to a certain load, a vertical spring. So this vertical spring, uh, we put a 3.6 Newton weight attached to the bottom and observe that the spring stretches by 3 centimeters. We then cut the spring in half and the 3.6 Newton weight is again attached to a spring, but this time just half the length of the, uh, the first uh, example. We want to calculate the how far the spring stretches for this shorter spring. So in doing this, we'll, let's start with some pictures and calculate the force constant of the spring. Uh, we have the spring on the left with no load. The spring, the second drawing, it's not swinging, it's just my error in drawing a vertical spring. Uh, but put 3.6 Newton load on it. The uh, relationship between the load, the force of the spring, and the uh, spring constant and the stretch, x, is F equals minus kx. The force of the spring is in the positive direction, it's upward. The x is a negative number because I've chosen upward to be the positive direction the spring is stretching down, so x is, I put it as a negative number. The k I determine here is 120 newtons per meter. You should stop the video and do this calculation and um, observe the plus and minus signs on the different numbers. If you ever calculate a k that's a negative, you've made a mistake. The force constant is a positive number. So we start with that. Now what about uh, cutting the spring in half? What uh, happens when we cut a spring in half? So we have the spring that's stretched out with the load on it, the force at the bottom here. Something that's important is that this force exists all throughout the spring, all throughout the spring. And uh, F equals just kx, just use magnitudes of numbers here. So when the spring is long, force equals kx, when the spring is shorter, force equals k shorter at times x over 2. When we look at just half of the length of the spring, we still have this force f, this tension in the string is f, and this shorter half here is going down by x over 2. So how can we use that to calculate the k value for the shorter spring? Well, these two forces are the same. and we may make a substitution for this force, k long times x. The x's cancel, and we have that the k long is equal to k short divided by 2, so we have to double the k for the long spring. It was 120 newtons per meter, so our k of our short spring is 240 newtons per meter. And now, how far does this uh, short spring stretch when, again, it's uh, carrying a load of 3.6 newtons? Again, just you put the magnitudes in here. Force of 3.6 newtons, 240 newtons per meter. We can calculate x to be 1.5 centimeters. That's reasonable. It was 3 centimeters of stretch at the very top. And now we use uh, half the length of the spring that has double the force constant. And we get a stretch of just 1.5 centimeters. Another concept or way that you might think that this is a reasonable result, that we get a shorter stretch here, is these coils are now further apart than they, um, well, I'll just stop there. It's, we're stretching out this shorter spring and the, uh, the load here is being resisted by a higher force constant, by a higher force constant that's doubled so we get a shorter stretch. The, Ask your instructor if you have other questions about springs that are cut in half or cut in third. Uh, it's a similar analysis. If it's cut in third, you get three times the uh, K value. If you want other short uh, lectures and uh, example problems worked out, they're listed at, this, at these two websites. Uh, this is free, no registration. And if you like the videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.